With only one month to go before the first presidential caucus in Iowa, another candidate out. I'm so proud of the campaign we've run together. We've shaped the conversation on so many important issues in this race. I've determined that it simply isn't our time. Julian Castro, the former Obama administration housing and urban development secretary, was the first Mexican-American to have sought the presidency. I'm not done fighting. I'll keep working towards a nation where everyone counts. But he didn't make it to the debate stage for the past two months and was falling short in polling and fundraising for the January stage. That still leaves 14 candidates vying for the nomination, though, and the money race heating up. Bernie Sanders raking in a massive $34.5 million in the final quarter of 2019, topping the field. Thank you. Pete Buttigieg, the now former mayor of South Bend as his term ended Wednesday, bringing in 24.7 million. But already some Democrats looking ahead to New Hampshire. Five candidates in a live free or die state today. Some candidates' campaigning schedules, though, may be put on hold, as five senators running for office could be pulled back to D.C. for the impeachment trial. As well as former Vice President Joe Biden, who could be called as a witness if President Trump gets his way. I would honor whatever the Congress, in fact, legitimately asked me to do. For voters in Iowa and New Hampshire, though, it's not the impeachment fight back in Washington helping them make their decision. It's the issues like health care. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.